a Pop Smoke album cover update, right? We were on here laughing, giggling, kikiing about Virgil's um, apparent social faux pas, his inability to read the room, his um, confidence and arrogance that his design aesthetic is somehow way above our heads. And the public said, no, no, no. We hate your design. We think it's crap. We don't care if you design some really good Jordans. That cover is terrible. Pop Smoke is our beloved, um, lovable, um, street goon who was taken away from us way too early and we don't want you to desecrate his memory by giving us an album cover that could have been designed on clip art two years ago right or something i don't know whatever yeah so now we've got some good news um the album cover has been redesigned obviously the album came out today i haven't listened to it just yet i want to listen to it in full like i do with all albums i put it on my system i listen to it in the background passively but i listen to it from the beginning to the end none of this skipping stuff none of this deleting tracks none of this you know skimming forward of the track i listen to every single one one way through then i pick out the ones that i like and i listen to those again so i can form my opinion on the music um i'm not telling you how to listen to stuff but i'm telling you what i do because you know what it's my show so the album cover this is what it looks like um and it's funny because after all the kind of rigmarole after you know um virgil doing his um best to kind of you know save his reputation which wasn't in, in danger really to be honest it's just a shitty album cover it happens in it everyone catches him now he decided to phone up Theoph Theoph theophilus london to get him to help him out um i'm surprised he didn't call timothy chamelet like he did with the whole donation thing in it to help him connect with the kids but he calls up Theophilus london tells him what's really going on Theophilus london gives us some fucking you know weird cryptic tweets about the real situation and what's really on the what really matters like thanks guys um and then in a weird turn of events, this guy called Ryder Rips who has um, a digital, cons uh, what do you call it? A meme sort of weird creative directing, creative director studio thing that I've seen online before. And, you know, a pr pretty prolific artist in his own right, has worked with Kanye in the past, came out and essentially trashed Virgil and said, oh, this guy's been stealing my designs for years. He's an absolute fraud, blah, 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 blah. The internet went ablaze. And then um, consequently 50 cent came out and then started going in on virgil posted a picture of his family on their wedding day and stuff which is just a mad low blow and of course that got the lead promptly from the internet because that's a little bit out, um, out of order and it's not very necessary just in general you can keep getting dunked on in it um and then it kind of settled down it got to a point where 50 cents then started um, uploading and sharing loads of images of album covers that were designed by fans and you know wannabe or uh graphic designers some of the stuff was a bit you know a bit cringe some of these graphic designers were trying way too hard to get their work kind of commissioned to be an album cover um i think some of them need to relax and take it a little bit of a chill pill but from it emerged a new album cover and guess who designed it Ryder rips himself the guy that was going to war with virgil who uploaded a full pdf document stating why he plagiarized him in the past and why he allowed it has now come out from the ground and decided to take the number one mantle as the lead creative on this pop smoke album cover and you know what the funny thing is virgil could have done this in his sleep virgil has the talent in his left finger to have done this in his sleep he decided not to and he got dunked on for an album cover that he could have done way better than and this is it on the screen so it's essentially a black rose i think it's 3d um it's a, yeah i think it's the, it's the same black rose that we saw for the single i think he rather rips did it for the single previously um essentially they've taken a still of it and it looks really amazing it's sort of like chromatic style um it reminds me of something that he would have done maybe for grimes but again it's probably a little bit more tasteful than what virgil would have done i think it's really hard to make an album cover that encapsulates such a young artist who was taken from us way too soon and um you want to do it in a tasteful way i'm not sure how tasteful it is to put the person's face front left and center of a possum posthumous album however you pronounce that word um i don't know man something about it that makes it a bit uneasy do you remember um, was it Vanessa Bryant, right? Kobe Bryant's wife recently said she's um, um, explained why she was blocking loads of Kobe Bryant fan accounts that were tagging her. Oh no, she she was blocked. She was um, unfollowing and blocking loads of t Kobe Bryant fan accounts because they kept coming up in her in her explore page. Like the algorithm kept feeding her those accounts, and of course, you know, losing your husband and your daughter in such tragic circumstances, you don't really want to be reminded of it constantly. So, I'm a little bit. I don't know. It's like the murals, isn't it? Right. It's good for them to be up for a certain period of time but then you don't want them to be up all the time it can be a little bit of um it can be a little bit uneasy for the people that were closest to the person that passed away and i think this album cover is done in a really good way it kind of encapsulates his um essence a lot more um it does a good way of kind of representing who he was 
without really saying much of it. And again, like I said, it's so disappointing for Virgil because he could design this himself. Virgil was responsible for putting together probably one of the most important album covers in terms of general aesthetic going forward in hip hop with two chains album cover. Do you remember the classic one uh, with the two gold chains on the black bit of, on the black background? so delightfully and exquisitely done this is during the time as well when people's album covers were super complicated and really uh, elaborate so for him to be so minimalistic and so to the point with that album cover so literal without being literal right it's kind of the extension of the kind of whole quotation marks thing that he does um explaining without explaining right um like a double meaning so sort of like a the kank bot version of designing where you kind of you know you are against use you you think words are beneath you right um you want to communicate in memes and slogans and catchphrases and hot takes uh you are the master of misdirection that's what that album cover did right that two chains um with the two gold chains on the front album cover was all about i'm not even sure what album was that one with the two gold chains was it i forgot what title was that uh, two chains. We see that one. Two chains with the two gold chains. Uh, two which with a Virgil cover. Let's see. Come on, two chains, Virgil cover. Bapidi bapidi ba, bapidi bapidi ba, bapidi two chains based on a true story. That's the one. Okay, cool. So he designed it based on the truth of it. That's 2012. God damn it, man. 2012 really was that when he designed it that is a madness bro but yeah um it's a shame really for him in it like that's like i said i think he could design any sleep and he really fucked it up by um you know deciding to go a completely different way um what can you do really in it what can you do uh oh, let me see where i can get it let me show you it again is it here where are you no back onto a lid da, da, da. and then um of course um steven victor jumped in and decided to essentially defend virgil's honor regarding the whole situation which is funny in itself um he allowed because i think they could have done a bit more to um i think they kind of threw virgil under the bus again not a fan of the dude personally think you know he has his he has his faults like we all do but I think they could have done a lot better to insulate him from the kind of online barrage he was getting. But I guess they didn't want to come into contact with the activists who essentially don't like Virgil and are using any slight, any misstep he does. He should, I think Virgil should be aware. Someone in his team needs to tell Virgil that there's people out there that are uh, cons not conspiring, but will be more than happy to see him essentially fall um, from his um, platform be more than happy and, and replace him with somebody that they uh, they kind of deem to be more uh deserving of the platform that he's got i think that's what's going on right now they'd much rather like a pyre must be there they'd much rather than i don't know who else did they like in that scene loads of other people i can't think of them off the top of my head but i'm, I'm assuming they kind of just don't like the fact that he's on that platform and you know they he's not necessarily the kind of black person they'd want there they want somebody else one of their friends who's a bit more activist orientated maybe is a little bit more forward facing with their political views uh maybe is actively doing stuff in the scene to kind of you know push the narrative of black lives matter i don't know but it's quite obvious that people just want virgil to burn and they want him to crumble and fall again not sure because he's just ascended so quickly so far no not no i'm not sure whether not because he's ascended so quickly or because it's association with kanye or but I don't think this Kanye thing is true because Kanye's getting a lot of love with this whole gap um, collab he's done. And, you know, he basically um, put together a whole different team to kind of lead the creative direction or the artistic vision for the whole gap collaboration. And I'm not sure just hiring a couple of creative directors who happen to be black is going to get you in the good graces with woke black Twitter. But I don't know, man. There's something about this Virgil hate that seems weird, isn't it? I wonder what it is. Why, what, what? Because, again, from the, in the streetwear scene, it's pretty easy to understand. I think a lot of people in streetwear could just say, hey, they don't think he's good. They think he's a bit shit. Um, they think he got where he got to with his connections. Um, the whole, you know, Ralph Lauren, Ralph Polo rugby shirt thing debacle was uh, something that people got annoyed by. Off-white in general as a proposition for a streetwear brand serving the kids when everything is priced $500 up was a bit of an insult. Um, you know, him being classed as some sort of leader of the streetwear, of the new school of streetwear was also an insult considering how quickly he was to kind of shoo shoo away from it. Um, and all those things, right? Streetwear, you can understand, I'd guess. Fashion world, you can also understand, right? Young black dude from Chicago um, gets a job working at Louis Vuitton. 
kind of jumps over all these steps, um, surpasses, every, doesn't go to fashion school, defies all, you know, regular convention. But then I just don't understand or can't pinpoint where the hate would come from Black Twitter. Is it because he's got a white wife? I don't know. Is that the thing? I don't think that is because I think something that's something the internet has only realised recently, it feels like. Um, what could it possibly be? I don't know. If, if anyone in the guys you know what the what the reason actually now is why Virgil seems to be getting a lot of hate online, you know every mis any mistake he does just gets amplified and you know essentially gets broadcasted out there, made them and twisted and so the narrative gets manipulated some way, shape or form, um, and people seem to be really happy when he fucks up as well, which seems to be incredibly odd. Um, yeah, I wonder what, what what's the reason behind that. I don't know. But yeah, Steven Victor didn't help the situation. I think he kind of crumbled or back bad under pressure from the mob, um, responded to all the memes and said, you know, we're listening and someone put a change petition, change petition up and people signed that in order to kind of change the album cover. I think it got like 25,000 signatures on it. Um, and yeah, he put up a little post to sort of, I don't know, rectify himself or to sort of, you know, a bit of damage control, but it's too late now. You know, everyone said what they said, but the post is the following. It says screen cap, I think, of a video Virgil did for Pop Smoke or a, a music video I'm assuming he directed. And it says the following on the caption. It says, by the way, we love Virgil. Virgil is the first person of African descent to lead Louis Vuitton uh, menswear line. Virgil is a pioneer and therefore a hero. We need black superheroes now more than ever. Yeah, but not really, is it? That's what we're seeing with Black Lives Matter. We're seeing they want certain black superheroes, you know. What's his face? Um, what's that white guy that pretends to be black? He can get away with absolute murder, but then the moment Virgil Abloh designs a pretty shitty album cover, he's decried as an enemy of flipping black humanity. It's really, you know, it's a little bit suspect, this whole um, thing that's going on at the moment. They're eating themselves, isn't it? Uh, Virgil's a pioneer, therefore a hero. We need more black superheroes. He said, 21,000 people signed up for change position. We heard you, right? And he says, keep that same energy for Brianna Taylor or Elijah McLean in every election. Um, Victor, Victor dot vote save America. Okay, we get it, right? That end bit, I just think is a bit. How do I describe it? It's a bit discourteous, isn't it? Really, right? I hate when people do that. I think the office under was doing this too. Oh, everyone needs to focus on the real things at hand. It's like no, no, no. Just because you didn't get the reaction you wanted doesn't mean you can now tell the public how they should be reacting. If that Virgil cover would have come out and everyone would have said, oh, what a genius, right? He would have been retweeting, sharing stuff, you know, sucking himself off and whatever it may be. And his friends would have all banded around saying, oh, this is the person leading the charge. All this sort of wanky stuff that those circle jerk guys do, right? But the moment it doesn't capture the public's attention, for whatever reason, let's say it's just a matter of taste or just a matter of appeal, whatever, we don't care the reason behind it. They suddenly start going, oh, well, you guys need to worry about the real things. The real things? You weren't even worrying about the real things 10 minutes ago yourself, mate. Whilst you're perusing Essence buying another Balenciaga jumper, you aren't worried about the real things yourself. What are you talking about? It's insane, man. This kind of level of arrogance that somehow only a certain group of people are allowed to have an opinion uh, upon um, the artistic expression that you put out there for the public to consume. Just because they don't like it, suddenly they don't get it. It's like, come on, man. This is, I don't know, man. All those guys are really annoying. I just find that oh, I've I've been surrounded by that personality so often. I'm so happy I kind of pulled that, pull myself out of it. It didn't help me probably career wise in the long run, right? The, my inability to um, navigate that scene and to kind of you know just be pally pally and suck people off and you know just be you know for lack of a better term and sort of like a how would you say tolerate that sort of personality has hindered my career career progression i'm sure of it but i'm 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 willing to make that sacrifice i'm willing to do i'm willing to bargain with that i'm willing to i am because i couldn't sleep at night knowing that you know i sucked a grown man off so i can you know get a guest list spot to a certain party or so i could have first dibs for a certain item when it comes out i just couldn't do it i really couldn't i've i've grown up with too many of my i've grown up idolizing too many of the heroes of the you no know, the actual leaders and the uh, fault you know, provokers and the absolute pioneers in the scene Hiroshi, James Jebbia, Aaron Bondorov, um, Hayes, Futura, all these flipping icons that I followed and read the interviews of who kind of did it on their own beat, right? Um, Chris Gibbs, all these amazing people, Noah Babesian. Like, I'm not going to then succumb to some sort of weird, you know, fanboyish consumerist idea of that world where you're suddenly just praising everything these people do and then you know they can't do no wrong you 
sheepily follow if every step they do you change your mind based on what they're thinking fair weather it's like nah it's, it's not for me and of course this scene this streetwear scene is bigger than the personalities right it's a whole thing it's a whole movement it's a whole way of life it's a philosophy um it shouldn't be just you know encapsulated by a certain person or you should just respect somebody based on just some work they did it should just be all encompassing and again it should be the actions really you know it shouldn't be what they say it should be the actions and for for lack of a better thing as well the thing the, the, the reason as well to end is the reason why I think this is sort of unfair with Virgil too. The kind of out, outcry and reaction is that if you look at it really, right, outside of some of the optics with his, you know, design studio in Milan for Off White, which, you know, you have to get into it contextually and understand what the fashion scene and industry is like in Milan and Italy. Uh, you have to understand, you know, the multicultural aspect that goes on there, which is, you know, it's a little bit difficult to get into, but it's not as multicultural as people think it would be. So why would there be that many black people in the studio in the first place? Um, the cost and the requirements needed to get people from the US to work in Europe. There's loads of things that go in there, right? Get that aside, the guy does a lot for black people. He does a lot for his friends. Forget black people. He does a lot for his friends. He's one of those people that legitimately could say he doesn't see color because he just wants, in, essentially, he's like a clout exchanger, but in a good way, right? He's very willing to give, like, if you've got clout, he would exchange his clout coins with you, kind of take a picture, post it up, tag you, all that good stuff, upload your stuff on these Instagram stories. The stuff that all those people care about, right? In that world, they care about the the the, the look, right? Um, the credit, um, the tag. He does that willingly. He's happy to do it. And I think that side of him doesn't really get sh uh, propped up enough. And it should, do, it should do because a lot of people in his position would be a lot more, would be a way more greedier with their clout or with their um, notoriety, with their success, with their access than he is. He's really, really generous with it. So I think that's the unfair side of it. But again, I just think he's stepping in his, he's stepping in it all the time. He's, you know, I don't know why he seems to be so relentless. He seems to be really hell bent on proving black twitter wrong and if you've, there's one thing that i've realized with this whole cancel culture stuff is you can't really try and fight the mob you just got to continue doing your thing so if you like you know terry cruz is probably going through the same situation now right he says some kukaneni stuff here and there but for the most part you kind of get what his sentiment is but he's just not the flavor of the month he seems to be one of those black people that people don't like they kind of class him alongside it seems class him in the same category as the candace owens he just needs to accept his role and just say the stuff which he's doing i think a lot better now he just says says say what you want to say say it with your chest but don't expect people to understand you because they just don't like you same with the virgil do what you want to do uh you know approach a design you know aesthetic in whatever way you choose best whatever it may be but don't go up phoning for your office london and asking him to post flipping screenshots of your phone call it's just so wanky with that stuff we don't need that just keep doing your thing pushing things forward use your and again for the kids that get it they look at him for as an example and see the cool the good things he's doing for kids that don't look at the piece about don't like him they're never gonna change their mind so what can you do what can you do